has turned on the seatbelt light. Please take your seat and fasten your seatbelts. Thank you. One of the primary ways to incorporate audio in Mimic is narration, talking into a microphone while recording a movie. To do this, connect a microphone to your computer and make sure you have all the necessary drivers installed. When you get ready to record a movie, select your input source in the Recording Options dialog. Then enable your microphone on the taskbar and begin recording and talking. You can also add audio to a movie after you've finished recording it. For example, you can add background music to the movie by opening the Movie Properties dialog and selecting the Audio tab. After clicking the Enable Audio checkbox, you can pick a built-in sound. You can choose a file from your sound library if you've already used an audio file in Mimic. You can import an MP3 or WAV file from somewhere else, or you can record something new. If you only want audio to play on a specific frame, you can open the Frame Properties window pane and use the Frame Sound section to do the same thing. The option at the bottom lets you loop the audio over and over. Additionally, there is an optional checkbox to stop the audio from the previous frame. For some cursors, you can use the Audio tab in the Object Properties window pane to apply sound to that object. For example, you might have a cursor that's making a single clicking sound. You can assign a double clicking sound to it instead if you want. You can also add sound as an object itself in a frame. To add audio as an object, open the Home ribbon and select Insert Sound. In the dialog, you can select, import, or record audio. When you're finished, you won't see anything in the frame editor to represent the new audio object, but if you look below in the Timeline window pane, you'll see a bar for the audio object. You can click and drag this bar to control exactly when the sound starts and stops in the frame. If you've recorded audio or imported a file, you can open that audio file to make changes to it. Access the audio file from the Movie Properties dialog or from the Frame or Object Properties window pane. With the audio file selected, click the Edit button. A sound editor will display. In this editor, you can do things such as adjust the volume, copy and delete sections of the audio, insert silence, record new audio, and more. Another thing you can do with audio in Mimic is to enable or disable sounds when you record movies. This allows you to hear normal sounds, such as clicks, as you record a movie. To enable this, open the Recording Options dialog and click Play Sound Effects. For more information about audio, see this topic in the online help.